As a head of year, I would suffer with a lot of student behaviour um, and attendance if it wasn't for the Diamond Medallion Sports Foundation. I mean, I would talk to people, but not as much as I stay in the same group. Now I like go around the playground talking to lots of other people and all that stuff. So it's, it's made me more confident in myself. If I wasn't involved in Diamond Medal, I would be less. I'd be less active around school and at home. The main reason why I come back to the foundation is because of our interest in and how important it is to me and most of the people in the foundation. Of how it builds our confidence, of how it builds our resilience, of how it makes us aspirated to what we want to be in the future. And, but DMSF people are so friendly to you, they're so nice. DMSF played a really important role to how I evolved. Also my personality, everything changed because I just used to be a shy person because I didn't want to interact with people. But they played a really important role and they, they made me come out. Like, it changed who I am. It's really diverse and everybody's welcome. You don't get discriminated about your race, your past from where you was. All of us are to one family. It's just like a fun experience, like everyone's just lovable and enjoyable and you're just like, especially when you're having like a hard day, you just like, you just come to school, everyone's just like showing love and respectful and it just, it just brightens up your day. The way that I choose a student to work with DMSF is, is depending on what it is that they offer. So I know that um, Diane Bex and the team have got two, two different direct routes that I've worked and, and chosen students for specifically. Um, so I've got a number of students who would benefit massively from the Empowered Minds programme. Empowered Minds is an incentive that we've got within the team and we go into the schools and we actually deliver programmes and projects and they are quite flexible in the way we deliver them because we are allowed to meet and engage with young people and then look at where we feel they might need some development within their own basic skills or soft skills. We try to implement a programme of study for them. It's inspiring for me because throughout all my whole life I've wanted to connect and be involved or part of something that's special and positive. And working with DMFS has given me that, that base to work from and to grow from. Because obviously within the organisation you meet positive people that keep you positive. Within the schools we are working through a programme and then within the hub settings which is like um, youth venues that we also work at. In those venues I facilitate and coach a range of sports from basketball all the way through. I've got a lot of students who are adults at home that do, unfortunately, live lives where they've got a role to take and they haven't got any time to be children, they haven't got any time to be kids. And when they do have that time in lesson, they can't focus, they don't know what to do with that. It's almost as if they're rebelling against school standards and school rules. So having that moment, having that youth club and that place to go and having these positive relationships with people who come into school, because Diamond Dow sports staff don't work for Cedar Mount Academy, but they're in our school and they're using our facilities and they're supporting our students and asking how the day has been and asking, are you okay? Last time you was here, you said that you'd had a bit of a rubbish day in this lesson. Everything we do at Cedar Mount Academy is adopted and multiplied by DMSF. It's not a teacher-student, it's more we're like friends and we're just working on ourselves with each other. A reason why I came to DMSF is because I was actually curious of what they did. So when I came there, I actually enjoyed it, so I kept on coming every time and it kept on getting better and better. To me it's important to be involved in this is because like it's part of something I've been doing for a long time and it helps me when I'm like not not had a good day or sometimes I'm sad I like rather go here and do it and be like with people and be more active. It made, it made a big impact in life because like a long time ago I used to be like very unfit and unhealthy and I started doing a lot of sports recently and now I'm kind of in shape. The differences the programme makes is some of the feedback that I get from the young people. They've shown that they value it. That in turn has helped us to realise this programme is a programme that is suited for young people of Manchester and I think it could go further. Each of the year groups that I've had, we've always worked with DMSF and, and it's almost as if DMSF have been able to give them a reason to want to come to school, to want to do better. 
It's important that young people have positive role models in life going forward in terms of how they grew up in their community. Or mums could not have been there, dads could have not been there, dads could have died, mums could have died, grew up with, with an uncle, grew up with a grandmother, whatever. But it's important to have role models because there's so much going on in this world. It's imperative to have somebody as a solid person behind you or can say to you, don't do that or this is probably the right way. Whether they listen or not, that's a completely different story. But it's important that you put that across and action that. Even though you feel like your person's not getting the message, you ensure that they get the message in different ways. So you, you create different methods and different strategies to ensure that a person gets the help that they need. The message that we can get and give through sport is the challenge. We we're always faced with challenges in life. It's just like within sport, we can break it down and look at analogies from sport and put it into a context from sport and then we can put it into a real life context. And a lot of the children sometimes can actually relate the two. Or once they start doing that, they probably don't see things as, as challenging because then they can take the sport and strategies that we do, like it's training every week it's repeating things and it's that repetitiveness or it's actually even just setting a plan and a programme of study that we follow and once we get that message across from sport and then we can tell them that you can do that within life. Especially I find that a key thing that we can use as a key tool. The impact that it's had on student after student after student, um, it's almost as if there's a waiting list now. The students respect it so much. Thank you isn't good enough because you just see the impact from the minute that they come into school and they go to the sessions or they come on the courses to the minute that they're leaving school. It's amazing. And even we can see some of my ex-students who necessarily didn't do so well in school, they have now come back, worked with Diamondar and the foundation, have been accepted into every university, have resat their English, which they failed in school and took that really bad and they've reset it and they've got three, three grades higher. What makes DMSF different to organisations is their approach to working with young people. It isn't about DMSF, it's about the young person. It isn't about DMSF did this for X, Y and Z child. I feel DMSF wants to do it for as many children as possible. I find the Diamond Isle Sports Foundation is liberating, it's groundbreaking um, and I just think it's outstanding. Ofsted will talk about what's an outstanding school and what's a good school and so on. Um, our school may not have that label, but our students are outstanding students and they deserve all the help and all the support that they can get. And they deserve year on year on year to have Diamond Isle Sports Foundation support them. If this foundation is the best, my students are the best and they deserve it.